Hey people, it's me again. So, anyways, um, one of the things that I forgot to talk about, you know, in the last um, six months at that point was the whole thing with Chris Chan, you know, but that was, uh, a lot of other stuff that was just going on, you know, when it comes to like, my manifestation journeys and that sort of because that was the thing that preoccupied you know the the last six months of last year you know was you know the manifestation journeys of that sort you know the proof so that is just something that I'm not gonna really talk about there because and it's already like done as that goes so anyways um, considering the whole thing with Chris Chan you know he's out of jail he's in a group home for the past several months of that sort and now he's back online but but it was one of the things that um, Rich from Review Tech and speaking of Rich for your tip, because he made this sort of announcement that he's now like, you know, quitting YouTube at, at least temporarily because I don't really think it's the, you know, foreseeable future because some, some people, as far as that goes, you know, they're just taking, you know, a leave of absence of when it comes to YouTube as far as that goes, you know, and I think that's just sometimes a little bit temporary, but then it depends on how a person is feeling inside, you know, whether they're, whether it is just temporary or just permanently leaving YouTube for that matter. You know what I mean? It's just simply because of like the ever changing algorithms and all the terms of services, certain features that get, you know, Added or take it away or whatever it was, you know, that's just the the thing as far as that goes. <sighs> so anyways, um so considering the other thing that I was gonna mention about that, you know, when it comes to Chris Chan there is that what Rich Review Tech had said there was that there was a theory that why the charges were dropped because it would have been a it would have been a shit show if Chris Chan was was held on trial when it comes to that sort of thing and so this sort of thing is kind of like an easy solution so that way they just have him at, at the group home he's away from Barb and then Barb will party in some sort of convalescent home until she passes, which um, Barb is sure she's probably already passed up by now, I suppose. But, you know, that's just one of the things there. And then, depending on how well Christian responds to, like, you know, the real extensive type of therapy and whatnot, then, then maybe he'll, you know, start to like you know become better of that sort to tell the truth but that just leaves all like the other bull cows as far as that goes and you know when it came to like what um I forgot the guy's name <laughs> you know because I had I had talked about it about his channel there, you know, Crack Rat, Crack Rant, or something like that, and he was also another guy that was on the spectrum of that sort, you know, just like with that guy Tim Boss, who was kind of, you know, a bit delusional of that sort, you know, and then of course, the whole thing with, what's that guy's name? I, I don't really remember his last name. That was another one. You know. 
Even if you want to have that, whatever you have that disorder with, that one condition, you have to find one to have. And there's the one that tried to see Taylor Swift because she infected him or whatever it was, and, you know. And then there was the guy, Jay Sonnens, I think that was another guy that they said, you know. It's just one of those little things, you know. But, um, considering all that, um, I think when it comes to that, it, I think it all just depends, you know, because what I said earlier about Chris Chan and all that, and I do think that he deserves what he gets, you know, and I tried to feel sympathetic towards him, but I just couldn't, you know, for the life of me, I just couldn't because he had all these opportunities to kind of, you know, turn it around and all, but he did not do it. He just had no self-awareness of, of it, you know, because he believed that, that it wasn't his fault that he was in the situations and all that, and, and, you know, like, and I can, how many times that, like, he had gotten himself in trouble with the law for whatever reason it was and never really responded to any of the, the court-mandated therapies and whatnot. And it's just surprising how things are when it comes to Chris Chan and all. You know what I mean? So, anyways, I guess that's probably it. So, talk to you guys later.